vlog. Happy Saturday. Today is my grandma's birthday. Happy birthday to my wonderful grandma who's definitely not watching this right now, but I will see her later. Grandma, I love you so much. Happy Saturday. Today is going to be a very family filled day, but we need to get on the road. It's raining all day today. I just threw my hair up in braids because I cannot be bothered to do my hair. And we're getting changed because we're going to go to the gym. So let's put on a fit, shall we? I'm thinking leggings, obviously. It's going to be in the 50s today, so a bit chilly. Oh, you know what I could wear? Should I wear one of my soccer mom jackets so I look like I'm going to a soccer game? I do need to leave like right now, but let me just give my mom a little call. What should I wear for grandma's lunch? Like, should I be casual? Should I be more dressed up? I'm casual. Can I wear workout clothes if I'm coming from a workout? <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Hell yeah. Okay, thanks. I'll see you soon. Great news, everybody. I can be super casual today. I will be wearing that workout outfit all day long. Outfit on for the day. My hair, I feel like I should do something cuter with my hair later. I'm gonna bring a headband and wear this potentially. I also packed some makeup so I could just do some light makeup. And then for the outfit, I'm wearing this pink Lululemon soccer mom sweatshirt zip up moment. Lululemon leggings, this new sports bra from Free People Movement, which they sent me. So thank you to Free People Movement and then socks. I need to put on deodorant and then I like to do a little body spray for the gym so it's not too overpowering. Peach Fields from Skylar today. Mmm. Let's go work out. Look where I'm at. Hey. Hello. Welcome back. Cal dropped me off. He'll be back to pick me up soon. Passenger Princess today. We're working out. Amazing. Oh Good job. Okay. It looks. Thank you. Goodbye. I just got back in the car. Thanks for picking me up, my love. Of course. While I was in there, because I haven't seen Brad in a while, I really wanted to go to today's session. Cal went and got my grandma's birthday gifts, which we got her some beautiful plants. All she wanted for her birthday. I really might throw up right now. Oh, all my grandma wanted was little potted plants to put on her patio, which is so sweet. So we got her some plants. And now we're heading over to Orange County. And I'm going to try to not puke because I really pushed it. And I'm sweating. Okay, bye. I'm back. I'm no longer going to throw up. I'm now drinking the coffee that Cal got me. What'd you get me, my love? Almond milk latte. Almond milk latte. And we are nine minutes out from seeing my grandma. Also, fun fact, my cousin is coming today, which you guys have never met my cousin because I haven't seen my cousin in like a decade, maybe longer. I think the last time I saw him, I wasn't doing YouTube yet. TBD on whether or not I'm gonna show my cousin on the channel, because I don't know if he's gonna to wanna to go on, but I'm excited, I'm nervous to see him. Fun fact, I have two cousins, literally two, and that's it in this whole world. Two cousins, biologically. One of which, her name is Stormy, but she lives in Florida, so she's not here. And then my cousin Rickson, who will be here, he is in between Shane and I. So I'm 29, Shane's 27. Is he 27? Yeah, I don't know how old Shane is, we'll go ask. And then Rickson's right in between us. Cal's about to meet my extended family for the first time. I don't know if this is like vlog worthy. I don't know if anyone wants to be vlogged, but I did my makeup in the car. Look at how long my lashes are getting, guys. And I'm getting so many comments about how long my hair is getting. That is the situation. Okay, bye. Cal's decided we're going to blast like that by Future and Metro Boomin as we pull into the parking lot for my grandma. So like that, so Look who's in. here. Hi. Say hi to the vlog, my love. We're playing right now. You guys got to watch this. He's sharing. Yeah, it's not too weird, but it's, you know, it's like too strange. I just work with kids, Thank so I feel you. like and I didn't have a student that. name. It was like, and then right now, I was like, and about. Yeah. Mia told me about them. Whoa. I know. It's so weird. It's it's but like, like it. a chocolate marshmallow. Mm -hmm. It's so good. And that one has like cookie dough on top. Good morning, world. Hello. It is Sunday morning. I am on the road. It's 8.14 a.m. I am up and I am heading to Pilates. I went to bed early last night. I got so much sleep in. I'm feeling chipper and awake. Everybody five big sips of water. Here we go. As you guys know, I love a Sunday. It's my favorite day of the week. I just love how calming and chill the energy is in the morning. I am on my way to take a workout class. Cal is on his way to go golfing with his friends. And it's just gonna be a very chill day. So let's go get a good workout in. I'm actually pretty sore from yesterday's workout and I'm on my period. Also, Cal just tried those Built Puff Bars that Mia talked about that are so delicious and I can't wait to have one later. I'm on my period and I'm cramping so much, like way more than usual so good luck to me let's get it 
Look at all the Henrys. They're so cute, just basking. So in here it says go. My goodness, I am so excited. Okay, I finished my Pilates class, guys. That was so much harder than the one that I took earlier this week. And I'm going back again tomorrow, so please pray for me. I have to say, I really enjoy Pilates because, I mean, half the time you get to lay down, so I just close my eyes. And then the other thing is that I don't get too sweaty, so my hair isn't constantly having to be washed and heat styled and all the things. Yes, I stopped into La La Land. Also, I grabbed a few extra napkins to store in the car, and I got a couple things. First off, I got a matcha latte, but I got the birthday cake matcha latte. I think they're celebrating their fifth birthday. Happy birthday to La La Land. Oh my god. If you guys remember, Pretty Basic did a meetup slash little like pop-up at La La Land that was so, so cute. So I gotta take a little pic. And you guys know me. Anything birthday cake, I am all over. I love vanilla. I love sprinkles. I love funfetti. Oh my god. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be honest. I felt rushed at the cash register because there were people waiting behind me and I didn't want to waste time. So I don't know exactly what's in it. I know it's for sure matcha. I got it iced. It has sprinkles on top and then it said some sort of vanilla situation. At first I was gonna get the one that's like matcha latte with cream or some sort of like whipped situation with caramel drizzle which sounded so good but then I saw the birthday cake latte and I was like wait birthday cake please. All right let's give her a sip. <gasps> so cute. I got almond milk by the way. Mmm. It literally tastes like birthday cake. That might be my favorite matcha I've ever had. Oh my god I love the one that I got with Jesse at Memory Look in Koreatown. I think it was called like a matcha explainer or something like that. A spainer. It genuinely tastes birthday cakey. I don't know what they put inside of it. And this one's like a little less sweet. This one tastes like a normal matcha, but with like a little sweetener added. What a fun little weekend treat. And then I got stressed again at the register and I didn't want to waste time. And the cash register guy was just so nice. So I ended up getting this as well. I didn't even really want this, but I just felt frazzled. But I'm going to eat it anyways. I got chia seed pudding, which I love chia seed pudding. I'm such a chia seed pudding girl over like an oatmeal girl or like an oatmeal overnight oats situation. Mm, oh my God. Chia seed pudding. All that's in here, honey, chia seeds, hemp seeds, and strawberries. Oh, and coconut milk, gluten-free, dairy-free. That's honestly delicious. It's so thick and creamy. Tastes very similar to a lot of the chia seed pudding I've had in Hawaii. Mmm, no regrets. And this will last me a few days. Feeling accomplished for the morning, and it's only 9.30. I'm gonna stop at Target, and then let's go on home. I wanna, like, mix this better, because I need, like... Oh, it's so good. Cannot recommend that enough. Hello, guys. Okay, I made it into Target, and I need toilet paper, cotton rounds. Actually, let me find my list. I'm gonna amp up the little delivery cart that I did outside because I got a little fridge for all the drinks, so I have more space on the cart now for snacks. I wanted the drinks to be cold for all the drivers because it's going to get hot during summer, and also, a lot of people told me that keeping plastic bottles out in the heat is really dangerous as well. So for the drivers, I got a little mini fridge to put things in there for them. So I need to figure out whether snacks I to put on there which is so exciting i've already had so many amazing reactions from drivers to the cart as well i definitely if i'm gonna post any clips which i'm leaning more towards now but if i do i'm gonna completely blur their face but i think i'd rather just not post anything at all just in case just know the reactions have been so sweet like so like i, I wanted to cry so sweet but let's get some more stuff for them surprisingly it's pretty open on a sunday morning love to see it also i put the chia seed pudding in my purse because it would get hot in the car so just got a little pudding in the bag you guys know candy is my kryptonite, specifically the Twix eggs. I love the shapes of these, and I love these. Oh, not the milk chocolate. I like the cookies and cream ones, but I'm staying away. Okay, guys, so far, I've got sodas to put in the fridge. I've gotten some new kind bars, some gum, which I'm kind of worried about the gum and the heat. It might get like a little melty, but I mean, I keep my gum in my car and it's fine. If it ever gets too hot, I'll just stick them in the fridge or something. But we got green gum, blue gum. Comment down below, are you a green gum person or a blue gum person? I personally hate hate spearmint. I like peppermint way more. I got a little frame to make a new sign, some command strips for said sign, and some little baskets for the bigger bags of chips and stuff. I think that's pretty good. Ooh, these look good. Nature Valley Crispy Creamy Wafer. I just forgot how to read for a second. With allergy season right around the corner, I feel like I need to get a lot of Kleenex just for the house. This one's so cute. Self-care is for everyone. Oh, and I like these new on-the-go packs that are like thin so they fit in your bag really well. I actually have one in my purse right now, but it's almost all out. Target, I promise I'm not stealing this one, but it's so nice and thin. It just like fits in every bag, so I'm gonna get these for on-the-go because you never know who needs a Kleenex. I didn't have space in the cart for it the last time I was here, so gotta get it. Cotton rounds, check. Okay, as you guys know, my brother edits my vlog. 
friends and he was telling me that he was watching footage the other day and he was like oh my god we have the same like nose problem where i thought they were blackheads but he said it's like sebaceous scent something and he told me to get a specific face wash like an oil cleanser or something that really like gets them out i have been trying to do pore strips and they haven't been working so this is adding up but i forget so let me call him he might be busy being a father okay the cerave oh my god me in bed while he facetimed me cerave hydrating foaming oil cleanser i don't see her i gasped i found her <laughs> me in like the most modern i gasped okay hydrating oh it's new hydrating foaming oil cleanser oh my god i saw these were blowing up online nyx buttermilk bronzer and i like these blur screen blurring primer sunscreen i want to try i got the worst blisters ever when i tried to wear those loafers the other day oh, i hate when people look at me when i'm blogging i feel like i need oh here we go like helps heal without scabbing like a blister guard situation i feel like that should be good hello guys okay update talk to my mom for like two hours on the phone then i talked to tommy for like another hour so it's been quite some time since i've been Home. Hello, I'm currently making some lunch in the air fryer and I figured in the meantime I'll do a little haul of all the stuff that I got. You guys saw a lot of this already. I got the four pack of Kleenex, got some cotton rounds, I got these two bins that I'm gonna use on the cart basket outside, I got a lot of medicine and refills of certain medications and things just because with allergy season and everyone getting sick lately I want to be fully prepared so I love this stuff. This is Theraflu. It's like a tea almost. The lens is a little different dirty just in case this is the daytime and nighttime and it tastes really good when you're feeling sick so i got that i also got the little blister pads as you saw i got mucinex just in case someone needs to control their cough or thin and loosen their mucus i also got a bunch of sudafed i got sudafed congestion i got sudafed daytime nighttime i got some command strips for little signs outside here we go i got these ollie elderberry gummies just because i know elderberry is really good for your immune system and i feel like i need to take better care of my immune system in general. Thought I would try these. It has elderberry, vitamin C, D, and zinc, which I already take vitamin D every day. Those are all obviously really good helping your immune system. Okay, two gummies. Mm. They don't taste bad. They don't taste amazing. The zinc always kind of leaves that like metally taste in the mouth, but good to have. Flonase. And this Sinex saline spray. These three things get me through allergy season. I have horrible allergies and as I get older, I feel like I'm becoming allergic to like everything. So these really help me out. I take a Zyrtec in the morning. I do a couple spritzes of this in the nostrils. And then if I get really congested or stuffy, I just shoot this up the nose, both sides, blow it all out. And it's amazing. So I got one for me and one for Cal because we're not about to shake a saline solution in our noses. I got those little travel Kleenex as you saw. I got the kind bars for the snack bar as you saw. Oh, I got the CeraVe hydrating foaming oil cleanser as Shane told me to try. I also picked up this. This is the Bioderma Micellar Cleansing Oil. I love a cleansing oil. I love a cleansing balm. I love a cleansing oil. I love all those things, but I feel like I always gravitate more towards an oil just because sometimes the balm can leave like a residue depending on if it's a good or bad balm. But I've yet to meet an oil that I don't like. So I wanted to try this one. I also love the one from Mara. I love the Herborean one. I've gone through like three of those. It's a Korean brand. If I don't like this, I'm going to get some more Herborean ones. Oh, I got this Aquaphor stick just because I thought it looked nice. It says for chapped, chafed skin. You know, you can use it on the thighs, the lips, the elbows, wherever you're chafing. I got a few new makeup products because I just love trying new makeup. I got the NYX Blur Screen. Oh, you know what this is probably going to be like? Like the um, Super Goop Pip of the tongue tip of the tongue. I know everyone's screaming it at me right now. That one, which I just realized with my oily skin sometimes doesn't work. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I like it. And then I also got the NYX Buttermelt Bronzers, which I did see people said theirs were coming broken. So I, oh, no, she's good. That is far too tan for my complexion though right now. Perhaps when I get really tan during summer, this will be a good shade. Wow. They smell amazing though. Oh my God. It smells like cake. Okay. Good thing I got the other shade. I believe this is the second darkest in the line and this was the third. Let's see. Here we go. This one's in the shade All Buttered Up and the darker one is Butter Biscuit. This one should fit me now. Ooh, okay. I will say they have a very like orangey tone already, which I don't know if I'm going to like, but I'm going to try those. I like the packaging. And then I got the gum, as you saw. <gasps> My chicken's ready. I got the blue gum, the green gum, this frame that I'm going to write to the delivery drivers like, take whatever you want. And then I'm going to put on this frame, something for the doorbell. And then I have another frame and I forgot what I was going to do with the third one. Oh, I was going to put it on the fridge and be like, hi, please open so that people know they can take things from the fridge. Oh, okay. I did that quickly. Let's have some lunch. Okay. Having leftovers for lunch. I simply cannot be bothered to make a 
vegetable right now, so I'm gonna have those for dinner later. I just have a little rice, some chicken drumsticks. These are the Kalbi marinated chicken drumsticks that I made, and then a little bit of the beef pepper lunch that I made for lunch a few days ago. I mean, I know what it all tastes like because I already ate all this, but leftover mukbang. Here we go. Meat, very meat heavy. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. chicken. Mmm, it is really good actually. I cooked the chicken in the oven and then reheated them just now in the air fryer, and the air fryer is so much better. Like they get so much crispier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello? 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 You're on your way home, did you win? Uh, no, we just played for fun. We played with this really sweet Korean couple. Um. They were like 70 and 68 years old. Mm -hmm. Did you practice your Duolingo on them? No. <laughs> no. I still can't say full sentences in mm. Korean yet. Okay. Okay, guys, I just redid the little delivery cart situation. It looks so good. And then it started to sprinkle, but all's well because I planned for this. Here is our new situation. I got a giant umbrella that I actually got. I mean, I got it for partially rain, but also partially to shade from the really hot sun. And this is the situation now. I got the refrigerator. This is an outdoor refrigerator, so she's safe with the weather and things. It doesn't rain too hard here. I say that as the rain starts picking up. And here's the inside. Oopsies. I really stuffed her full because people been really liking the Gatorade. So we got Gatorade Zero, Blue Gatorade Prime, Water Bottles, Coke, Kimade, Prime Energy Drink, Sprite, Alani New on this side. And then all the snacks over here. We got the chips, we got the gum, Pine Bars are back there. We got almonds, Nature Valley Bars, Dum Dum Lollipops, Cheez-Its, and the veggie chips. I made little signs here and there. And that is the final delivery situation. And it's starting to rain harder. <laughs> morning everybody it is the next morning apologies for not vlogging last night i just did a bunch of computer work it took me a couple hours to sit down and plan through mia's video i planned out everything that i'm actually cooking for her this week and then also on top of that i had to do all the macros so protein fat carbs and calories for all the meals because she had specific goals that she wanted to meet so that took me a while cal and i watched the holiday last night and then after that i just fell asleep it is now the next morning it's 7 14 a.m and I am on the way to Pilates again. I'm gonna be honest, I did not wanna go this morning because I'm pretty sore from yesterday, but I'm gonna make it anyways and I'm hoping that I can train my body to push through and kind of work through the soreness. But if it hurts way more tomorrow, then obviously I'm not gonna do that. But yes, I'm gonna go and then we've got a really busy big work day today. After Pilates, I'm going back to La La Land though to get that matcha again and I'm gonna bring it for the office today. The sun rising, it looks so beautiful this morning. I asked everybody, I was like, what do you guys want from La La? And everyone was like, what was that sprinkle shit you posted? So everybody's getting the birthday cake matcha. Even Cal, super excited. All right, let's go and I'll see you guys after Pilates. Okay, I got my ass kicked and handed to me. I couldn't do a lot of the moves. I tried my best, but there was a lot I had to modify because I was in a lot of pain. Tomorrow I'm gonna be so sore, and also tomorrow I'm doing a workout with Mia, which we all know is gonna be so hard already because Mia's like a bodybuilder. Pray for me. But for now, I soothe my soreness with La La Land, the birthday matcha thing. Now I know what it is. French vanilla sprinkle topping, cloud iced espresso or matcha. Cal got this one, I think. They're so good. Okay, back in the car, got the same thing as yesterday morning in the same exact spot almost exactly 24 hours later. I know their whole shtick of this place, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's this really cute, really aesthetically pleasing cafe. I know there's a lot in Texas, I think that's where it started, but they ventured over to LA slash California, and I'm sure they're in other states too. And their whole mantra is to be nice, like literally the sleeves is just be nice, but like the workers there are so nice, and I just have to say it makes my day. I truly like, I enjoy going in there. All right, let me do a little TikTok clip because I'm going to do a little day in my life vlog for TikTok. Okay, got the goods. I got an iced birthday cake matcha latte. <gasps> Look at the sprinkles on top, please. Like they're so cute. And then we got to give it a good shaky shake. Mm, taste test. Mm, okay, I need to mix it up better because I was just cream, but like it was delicious, obviously. I want to keep these cups and keep reusing them. Mm. Oh my God, it's perfect. Yesterday's was a little sweeter and I think I actually like this one more. Mm, mm. I could chug this thing. Way less sweet than yesterday's but honestly delicious, wow. 10 out of 10, I'm happy. I'm so annoying with my ice. All right guys, on that note, I don't think I'm gonna get too much vlogging today because I'm really focusing on the main channel video. I'm really excited about it. I'll let you guys know when it's coming out, but it's gonna be a really, really, really good one. On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.